Hello? Hi, yes, this is Chris. I was trying to reach the owner of Union Road. Yes, that's me. Hi, yes. Uh, I was uh, driving down the street there. I live in the area. Uh, I was looking at your property there. I was trying to see if you were interested in selling it. I am, but I have a tenant who lives there and who doesn't pay the rent. Oh, my goodness. And I cannot one of those. Her. Yeah, and she doesn't. She has not paid anything for four months or five months, and the judge just extended the eviction till June 30th. So, so what does she I, say? She says she just don't want to pay or she can't yeah, pay she or what's her deal? She, yeah. Otherwise, we would apply for the state assistance, but she still has a job. She purchased a new car. She just doesn't want to pay the rent. That's crazy. She's a compulsive liar. So How long that's, has that's so my she been doing it for about four I'm, years or four months, you say? Yes. She owes me right now probably about 7000 8000 It's going to oh be gosh. more than ten, but that's okay. So if you were to sell it as is with the tenant issue, is that something you would consider? I mean, nobody's going to buy it. She will be out at June 30th. I'm probably early. I don't know. Maybe she already moved out. I'll see. Some some of my friends who live there, they told me that there was some, some trash. Did you see any trash in front of the house? Yeah, yeah. That's what made me stop because, you know, I buy a lot so of where, property where, where around. Where is the trash? Maybe I need to stop today. So. Tell me uh, it's not, not a lot. Answer. I think it's gone already, really. It just I saw it a couple of weeks ago. I just didn't get a chance to call you yet. Okay. So yeah, so yeah, we would we would be more than happy to try to uh, you know see if there's something we could work out with it. Um, so you would you would sell it with the tenant in place, I guess, and if that would be easier for you. Yeah, that would be probably the best. Okay. Great, great. So I guess you don't know anything about the interior of it. You don't know how she. Oh, kept it looks anything. nice. She, she is clean. Oh, well, the interior good. looks she, they just she don't has like not damaged anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. So, um, so yeah, I, I live right around the corner. How from much? There. I mean, how I much would you pay for that? That house has a finished basement, has a four bedroom, counting one in the basement, and uh, two full baths. Hardwood floors on the main level, carpeting in the basement, a nice kitchen, nice, nice living room, and it's it's nice house. So how much would you pay? You know, I would have to check into that because I would have to run the numbers because I didn't know if you were even interested in selling or not, but I could definitely find out and get you uh, an offer for it. Um, so so the tenant is going to be gone when you sell it, you think? I think if we, if we make a deal, she will be out maybe before that or immediately. She knows she cannot stay. Yeah, we just dealt with one just like that over, uh, and but it was this one was in the city. But yeah, they they make it so hard to get these people out of these houses. But you no, know, we we just I heard that city pay, city you know? just I think city does uh, evict them. That's what I heard, and I see some of my yeah, friends. Yeah, evicted. Do. I evicted some people in Jefferson County, but not St. Louis County. Sam Page, he fucked it up. Uh, you know he did. Yeah, it, it's hurting. Yeah, so I'm okay. I'm financially okay, but. Many, many landlords are going to go bankrupt. I pay taxes for the house, insurance, and everything, and she has not been paying. And there is no reason for her not to pay. If she lost the job, we would apply for assistance, and the state would help. But she has not. She just doesn't want to pay. But it will be on a record, yeah, and I'm not going to give up. I will garnish her wages, and I will, I will find her. I will pay somebody to track her down and just block every bank account that she has. That is my plan. Yeah, that you remember you get that judgment to, to go that way. Point. Yeah, I will do everything yeah, legally to, to just to collect that. But if Most you're definitely. interested, so let me ask you this. So, so, yeah, so let me ask you this. So if we were able to work everything out, I mean, how soon would you uh, be looking to close if we were able to work Tomorrow. out the numbers and everything? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. You want out of there, huh? Mm-hmm. No, and I then, so as far, Listen, I have plenty of properties, and I'm 62 years old. I'm cutting down on everything. And I want to just get out of most of my real estate business. I have done well. I have many properties, so I think it's time for me just to spend that money before my kids get hands on it. My kids, they won't spend it. Ah, uh, you know they're going to spend it, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, they won't. And by the way, it. my name is Chris, and what was your name again? Ibrahim. Abraham. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, my name is Chris. I live right around the corner from there. Uh, I'm going to run some numbers here and see what, you know, what the comps say and things like that. But let me ask you this, Abraham. Uh, what, what is the lowest you think you would take as far as the purchase price? 
Okay. At this market, when she's out, when I update the house a little bit, I think I can get 197 for it easily because it's four bedroom, but I would have to update a little bit. So not much. So painting maybe. Yeah, yeah stuff like that. So just a light cosmetic. So, but if you were to sell it as is, I mean, just just be free from it. For you, you because you, you, I mean. your voice is very familiar to me. Maybe we met some somewhere. Very, very familiar. What's your last name, Chris? My name is Chris Monroe. I used to have a resale shop on uh, Lee May Ferry a while back, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. You may have came in there or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, you know. so yeah, I'm actually looking to buy probably five or six more houses here this year. So, I mean, we may be able cash? to work something out on this one and maybe some others. Mm -hmm. right, right now, I have like 42 properties. 42 properties. And you want to sell them all, you think? No. Just I have some, some in Chicago that I'm not going to sell. I have some in Florida. I have 16 townhomes in Arnold that I'm not going to sell. And honestly, I'm not going to sell any of my city properties because they are the best money makers. County, oh, I'm yeah, we have some on the south road. side, too. Yeah. So if you want to buy it like that, I would give it to you probably, honestly, for 165 so you can make a few bucks. It's very good deal. 165 Yes, you can invest cash. another 10 and you can you can probably get 210 for it easily. Okay, Abraham, so that sounds good. One last question for you. Um, if there was a way uh, we could work things out as far as, uh, would you consider taking monthly payments on any of your properties? If we were able to work something out like that, you would get a bigger purchase price? Like for how many months? Uh, we usually try to make it something realistic. You know, the details we can work out. I just say, you know, it, it depends on the property and things like that. So basically, uh, we buy houses two different ways. One way is the all cash offer, but you know, we don't buy them for retail when we buy them all cash mm -hmm. like that. You know, that being an investor. Then we also work out something where we do uh, where we do it on some type of terms. Now we close these deals through a real estate attorney and everything, so everything's legit. It just makes it so that it relieves you of all the maintenance, and such as repairs, tenants, toilets, termites, and you know all the other stuff that dealing with houses. You just collect money instead of having to deal with property, if that makes sense. Is that something you would be open to? Uh, honestly, it's not something that I'm looking for. I know. I'm, I, I'm very familiar with the real estate and even also with the law. So it would, just, it would just give me a lot less income and without me owning the house. So. I, would, I had an offer for another house that I am selling now by myself. So I had I have a very nice house in Baldwin, and I had a couple of investors like you. He came by, one of them from Oklahoma, another one that you probably know, but I'm not going to tell you the name. And ah. <laughs> what they said, it's good for people who have no experience and no knowledge in real estate. You know, it sounds good, blah, 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 but in my case, no. Once she, yeah, I have, we have I several made houses, enough yeah, money I, that house. So I purchased okay, that house. So what I'll do is I, so I made enough money, and I know once if the COVID didn't exist, I would be great. She would be out a long time ago, or she would have to pay. So, and I'm not the only one suffering from COVID. So it's it's common. Yeah. Some people are dying. Some people are losing jobs. Some restaurants are closing down. So I can lose ten, fifteen thousand. Right. That makes sense. So, and I, and I, I appreciate you being fair and honest, too. You know, some people, you know, but kind of beat around the bush. Very, thing, very, but I like very familiar to me, Chris. I know you from somewhere. Well, I hope we get to know each other very well because, like I say, we're looking to buy several properties, you know, um, preferably in this area. But, you know, we look all over St. Louis. Right now we're holding property in South City, South County, and Oakville. Okay. Uh, Afton we have property. So we have properties all over the area here and a couple up in North County. Is it the company or several partners or how how you work? No, it's a St. Louis Cash Bars. That's our company name. We buy houses oh, all over. Oh, Louis. somebody contacted me from your company already. Oh, they That's did. Great. Well, they're doing a good job. <laughs> you are. Doing I'm glad good. they're at least trying to good. reach out. No, you are good. You are good. I, I like your approach. Well, Easy, not pushing. Well, I hope we can be good when together. I told you that I'm not an idiot. You just listen. You said, okay, I'm not gonna sell you bullshit anymore. So I like that.
that you realize that I'm not an idiot in real estate. How could I be an idiot if I already have $10 million in real estate? See, some some people try to give me to sell me the story. I said, hey, how much real estate do you have? Oh, I don't have anything. I'm 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 a renting a house. Blah blah. I said, hey, listen, I have ten million in equity. So what? You are selling me your story. <laughs> <laughs> so who is an idiot? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, you know, like I say, so I, listen, I mean, I'll be more than happy to take a look at I it. I sell that house as it is, and I would probably that would give you some space to make some extra bucks, or if you want to rent it, you can have income for long term. At my age, okay, I perfect. don't need it anymore. Okay, one seventy five. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to take a look at it, and I'll get back to you here shortly. And uh, like I said, if you need, I can go around there and take a look at it again and see what kind of yes, trash yeah. stuff. Yeah, go ahead. You go know, ahead. I just want to be of yes. service for you. Yes, please. You know, I want, you. I, want, I want to make this as easy as Thank possible you, for you. So any other questions or anything for me for now before I let you go? No, no, Chris. Thank you. And I'm going to uh, send you a text message as well with our company information. Is that okay? Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Ibrahim, and I will uh, be back with you soon. You know, there's a guy that I am very close to, and his voice is just identical as yours. And he is the president of the bank. So if you want to Google his name, his name is Orv Kimberow. He's the president of the Midwest Bank Center. His voice, just like your brother's, or maybe he's young, so you cannot be his son. Orv and you sound just identical, the same. Very well, wow. like my, my son and my. When when I call somebody, or my son, they don't know who's calling. So good. Oh, Increase. they can't tell they the difference. Text me, and we will go from there. Perfect. I appreciate it. Have a good day for now. Thank you. Bye.